You don't seem happy with my visit. I am happy. But I am trying to reconcile all you are saying now with what you said the day you left last. Baby, I left in anger. Helen, I want to ask you a question. What exactly did I do to you that made you angry? Look, I know I had no reason to be angry. But I just really, I was convinced that you weren't dedicated to a future with me. Look, there comes a time in every woman's life where she thinks about every man she's encountered and realizes who the one is. Baby, you are the one for me. I want to believe that I am not being flattered. How can you say a thing like that? No, I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. You are the only one for me. Your words are so smooth. You can melt any heart. Why don't you let us go up to your room? And I will show you that wine only gets better with time. Chief, what are you going to do now? Well, <clears throat> I have done what I have to do. I've closed my office, I've gone underground. I know a lawyer who can get you off the hook. Oh, you are wonderful. You are absolutely wonderful. 
But you see, my dear, this case has to do with drugs. And we, we cannot believe just any lawyer. Chief, this lawyer I'm talking about is not just an ordinary lawyer. He's an authority. Look, we're talking drugs here. What I need is not an authority, but a crook who can get things done. Look, my dear, you and I are here every day. It doesn't mean I'm not working. I'm working. Oh, yes. And very soon, you will know that I am the man among men. Gina. Are you all right, Dad? Oh, yes, I'm all right. Thank you. Why do you ask? I have this strange feeling that some something is... I don't know. I am fine. Okay, Dad. So, what do I prepare for you this evening? Oh, I, I, I am, I'm very sorry, my dear. I shall not be coming home tonight. Dad, is everything all right? Is there something I should know? My dear, there is nothing that I'm hiding from you. You see, I have business engagements that I have to attend to. And I, I will talk to you quite soon. Glory. so much confidence in you. I ask that you do not do anything that will undermine the confidence that I repose in you. I don't understand, Chief. What do you mean by that? My dear, do not make yourself a tool in the hands of my enemies. such a wonderful plan for us. Oh, yes. Whatever it is they say or offer, do not let them know my whereabouts. If that is your worry, then you don't have to worry. I promise you. I'm not going to let you down. It's a promise. Okay? Okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. Oh, I'll be fine, my dear. Yeah. So, you have a very strong feeling that the old boy is in trouble? I have a feeling that dad is in trouble. <laughs> now you're sounding really awkward. I mean, come on. What is it? I don't understand where you're coming from and I don't get where you're going to. Okay. I got him on the phone. And he said he will be coming back. Small dick. Okay, I got him on the phone and he said he's not coming home tonight. <laughs> now you're sounding really awkward. I mean, come on. What is it? Seriously, Adora, I know what I'm saying. He said he had business engagements to attend to, but sincerely, I do not believe that. Mm hmm. If I remember correctly, you were the one who said the old man was bringing too many girls into the house. And then now he decides to go play football outside, as we presume. And then here you are still complaining. Give the old man a break. See, he did not talk about girls. He didn't mention girls. What were you expecting? He was going to tell you who he's going to play football with this night. Oh, come on. At this juncture, I think we should all be excited, you know, so... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come on, I think you should have...
have fun. It's been so long you exercise that. <laughs> Me too. You. <laughs> you know what? What? You will just sink. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Fine. It's a free night. I am going to call somebody to come and service my Homer. <laughs> yeah. My Homer. <laughs> no, no. Who do I call? Harry. No, no. Harry doesn't last long. Daniel. Nah, he doesn't like to go on the. <gasps> ah, Terry. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. Hey, hi, Terry. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I'm, I'm fine. Actually, my father went out to play football, and I was wondering if you and I could play football in my bedroom. Oh yes. Oh Terry. When you're coming, don't forget to call me John. <laughs> oh yes, John. I mean I mean Terry, I mean the little one is a John. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a bad operation. I just wish the money was more. Look, Max, at least this money is better than the money you guys took from Alajumar. That money was cursed and that was why it fizzled away so quickly. This money right here was from a greedy politician. Can you imagine the good things we can start up with it? Yeah. My only regret is the kid, man. Dude, you shouldn't have killed him. Tony, how the hell were we supposed to enter the compound if I didn't go there? Too stupid. I had a gun with me as well. I'd have marched him down and he would obey me. Didn't have to kill him. Hello, hello Max. Please, I want to ask you for just one favor. What is it? Can you come home tonight? What's the matter? There's no problem, I just want you to come home. Please, there are certain things you can handle as our big brother. Did Dad ask you to make this call? No, Dad is not even at home and he said he's not coming home tonight. Just for you. I'm doing this just for you. Okay? See you soon. Okay. Um. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell, Gina, how dare you barge into my room like that? Oh no, no, one more round, one more round, don't wear that. What is wrong with you? Adora, stand well. Disappointed me. I I'm sorry, Max. You stabbed me in the back. It's okay. It's all right. I don't have a problem with you. I have a problem with her. It's fine. Relax. I'm truly sorry. You had fun? I'm sure you enjoyed yourself, right? Please listen to me, please. I'm truly sorry. Please. Don't worry about it, it's okay. It's okay. Bring your clothes. Let's drive. 
Let's grab a drink or two. Okay, hurry up. You watch her. As she regains her consciousness, give her plenty of water to drink. But don't take your eyes off me. I'll be back. Terry, hurry up. Max, Max, what are we doing here? I want to ask you one simple question. What were you thinking when you went to my house to see my sister? Come on, Max, I thought, I thought we've gotten over this. I thought we've forgotten it. Guy. Since change. Stand well. Max, what are you doing? Stand well. Max. Rearrange yourself. Max, it's me, Terry. Come out your pant. Max. Remove your pants. Max. It's okay to do this, Max. Remove the top. What do you know why? Remove the top. Step back. Step back. I am all ears. What happened? Chief, you are a very lucky man. These boys did not mention your name. They deceived the officers from the federal capital. They keep saying they were businessmen that works for nobody. Mm. These boys are excellent couriers. Excellent. And what about the head of pressures at the airport? Um, did he say anything? 
No, he did not say anything. That's why I said you are a lucky man. <laughs> I am going to surprise those boys when they come out from prison. I'm going to surprise them. Yes. Chief. Jack and Mark demand 10 million naira each to be given to the members of their family and uh, also the airport head of operation said he should give me 15 million naira for onward delivery to his wife and that's the only way we can remain unidentified wow a 35 million naira add to that the money i invested on that project <sighs> this is total waste um, chief, the most expensive commodity on earth is freedom. Just write the check, and that's the only way you can remain unidentified. I suppose so. to you that she came for the money. Did she succeed? Well, they made away with 70 million naira. Exactly the amount of the former room. You are sure they did not enter the new room? I'm just coming from the house. They did not enter the new room. I want you to put a plan to work. Okay. I want Helen invited to a place to answer some questions. You let me ask, sir, what kind of question? Get the location first. She has proved to me that she is deadly. All right, sir. Okay. Tony! Tony! Did you see her? Did I see who? Helen. Did you see Helen? What the fuck are you talking about? I left Helen here with you. And the money? Where's the money? Tony, where's the money? Tony! Tony, where's the money? Tony! This was exactly where we left the money, right? I know we left the money here. We left the money here. So where is the money? And where is the girl? Well, when you left, she she she, she brought out this she, she brought out this um whitish substance from her handbag. Okay, I I remember I was in the middle of asking her what it was, and then she blew it in my face. I think I passed out. You were calling my name now. I, I thought I was dreaming. She blew you away? She blew you off? That's it? Where is the money? Don't you couldn't trust that girl. I, I, I said we could not trust that girl. Tony, I think you need to shut the fuck up. Because she hooked us up. Is she not the one that killed the man? She called us in even after she killed him. I can't play this. Where we shall get played on like suckers. You know, she said this all, all this up. She set it up so that we'll give her room to get her hands on the money. 
Everything. She planned everything. She made me kill her innocent man. You said you're a model, right? Um, yes, I'm a model. May I know the agency where you're registered with? Uh, is that really necessary? It is necessary. I need this information to prepare your checkbook. Um, well, I'm not registered with any modeling agency. I run my own agency. And can we have the name and address of your agency? Look, mister, what's the name of all this? If you do not want to open the bank account for me, I'll just simply go to another bank. You wouldn't want to do that, will you? We're on a good administration. We are reliable. Then you should learn to treat your customers with some dignity and respect. I'm a model. Simple. If you don't want to open the account, I'll just go to another bank. How much money are we talking about here? Um, 65 million naira cash. 65 million? <laughs> Do I look like I'm kidding? Where's the cash? It's out in my car. Outside? Yes. Hello, Jack. Come to my door. Now. One of my security will escort you to get the cash, and I'll make all the necessary details ready. Your account will be ready in one minute. Oh, um, it's so funny how money can make you ever respect in this country. You see that? That's money. That's my job. I am not going to tell you what transpired between Helen and myself. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. But I know for sure that you slept with her. How would you know that? Ever since I told you about her, I presume she got to know. And ever since, we became close friends. <laughs> <laughs> so she tells you everything. Well, to an extent, I'll say yes. Did she tell you she was planning to abscond with my money? No! Let go of my hand. I didn't even know she, she, she had checked out. In all your interactions with her, did she mention where she goes when she has money? I don't know of any possible place. But I know for sure she loves good hotels. And what the fuck am I going to do with that information? Did she mention a name, a friend's name, anything? No, that I know. No, no, no. None that I know of. Give me your phone. I will give you my number. If you see her around here, call me. If she calls you, call me. She stole my 70 million naira. Jeez. She deceived me with her looks. And she's a criminal. I didn't know. Now you help me get her. And I will make you happy. Get back to work. Helen, stand well. Stand well. Altogether, we have 25 containers. The owners have paid me for clearance. All the containers are contraband. I want them all seized. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, I'm seeing the names of very prominent people here, Chief. How are you going to handle them? <laughs> Any snake that wants to grow big must learn how to swallow other snakes. Now, you do what I've asked you to do and you will retire from custom a billionaire. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this. I like this. Uh, I will personally 
take control of those containers. And I will personally seize them all. Good. <laughs> now we're talking. But by the way, I have a little something for you here. I've done up a check for five million naira. Well, just a token. You know? <laughs> we are in business. And I want you to see this as business. Chief. <laughs> you know, Chief, uh, <clears throat> you know, every time we meet, you know, you, you surprise me pleasantly. <laughs> and you know what, Chief? I am going to surprise you pleasantly and pleasantly and very soon. <laughs> Well, I, I'm waiting for it. Yes. <laughs> I love surprises. You got one coming. Are you all right? You don't look okay. I have a strong feeling that Max locked Terry up somewhere. Adora, why would you say such a thing? Because I've been trying to reach him and I can't reach him. You did what? You called Terry? Gina, this is my life. I think it's high time you stop meddling in my affairs. <laughs> Adora, you're deviating from the subject. Why did you call Terry? That guy who has no respect for family values? Because he hadn't finished with me before yourself and Max rudely walked in. He has to come and finish what he started. I'm really sorry to say this, Adora. But this is going to be the last time you will bring a man into this room. Who the hell do you think you are? You are nothing but my kid's sister. Why are you trying so hard to provoke me? You can call it whatever you want. But trust me, if you smuggle a man into this room again, I will be forced to tell that. And he will come right in here and catch oh, you in the shut ass. Up. The only reason I will not tear your flesh off your bones is because of mother. Stay clear of me. Gina, don't cross my path. Why are you not happy with me? Yeah, because you didn't call me again to know how far I went with appointments. That is because you told me it was over, so I concluded you had lost it. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I'm calling you to tell you that God finally proved himself to be my God. I finally got appointments. Wow, congratulations, Lai. That calls for celebration. Yeah, you can say that again, uh, but there's a problem. I am broke. I mean, I'm broke to the bone marrow. Oh, come on, Larry. I mean, what are friends for? This is something really important to you, and for that reason, we have to celebrate. Let's do this. Why don't you meet me at Chit's Hotel? Let's, you know, spoil each other a little. Chit's Hotel? I mean, that hotel is damn expensive. Of course I know, that's why I like the hotel. And I like you because... <laughs> you know what I want and you know how to give it to me. Besides that, this lady is amazingly expensive. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Alright. Bye, Larry. 
You know, instead of wallowing in misery, I think we should decide on a course of action. What are we going to do? You see, Tony? I look at you. And I wonder why you want to parade yourself as a hitman when you're just a planner of this group. Told you. Simple thing. Stay here, watch the girl. And the money. Simple. Let me go and take care of some tiny business. And all you could say was well, she blew you away. It's so easy for you to stand there and recite everything like a damn parrot. That's fine. As long as you're not on that illusion that I had anything to do with this money for your own sake. You're not lying. You cannot be lying to me. I know. I know it. But what is pissing me off? You have been in this business for long to let this happen, to allow this to happen. That's why I'm pissed. Say. She sent me 15,000 naira worth of airtime and said I shouldn't even call the number back. Give me the number. I still don't even bother. I tried to call the number back, but it's not available. That girl is a smooth criminal. See the way she's playing us like a man you game. Hmm? So, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Hello, how are you? It was awesome. I hope you have a wonderful stay. Me? I own this hotel. <laughs> Bye. What are you doing here, Adora? My old boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Papa. Daddy. You. You. <laughs> well, Father, I just finished doing what you have come here to do. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, my name is Adora. This is my old boy. Please, darling, give him a treat. Something he wouldn't forget in a hurry. You. <laughs> Good treat. Come on. Good up, Lisa. Who is she? Is she only your daughter? Yes, she's my daughter. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. That young lady who just left. You know her? Yes, sir. I know her. She comes here often with different men. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Let's go upstairs and start sleeping. Go back to your place. Chief, all this for me. Without doing anything. I'm not in the mood. Thank you, Chief. Thank you so much.
I don't know what's going on here. Things are taking a really, really bad shape. So I don't know why we're all being laid back about it, but here's the problem. We got double crossed, lost a lot of money. Terry was found dead, shot down by the Rosa like a common dog. I'm not comfortable anymore. As I speak to you, I think we should all separate. Let's find our separate ways. Let's stop meeting. Anything that needs to be discussed, let's discuss it on the phone. Personally, I don't know you guys for now. Okay? As I speak, I don't know what I'm doing. Tony, stand well. Stand well. Hello? Hello, where are you? I'm not in town now, Biggs, and I don't think I'm coming back anytime soon. Anyway, did you hear what happened to Chief Roland? No, what happened to him? Someone identified gunmen, stormed his house and killed him. Oh my god. Sophia, stop joking now. What's the meaning of all this? Helen, do you think I'll joke with a man's life like that? <laughs> Chief Roland is dead. It doesn't think of this gay man not joking in the past. Seriously. Oh my god. So, what are the police doing about it? Have they arrested anyone yet? Helen, you talk as if you don't know our police. They've arrested so many people, but still, they've not gotten the killers. Yeah. So, so when is the burial? Uh, not yet. But, are you gonna come? Hell no. After all that man did to me. Please, I'm not attending his burial. No. He should rest in peace. Thank uh, you. I don't have your, your new line. I don't don't say this. No, honey, you're calling with a private number. Oh, are you serious? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll send you a text when I hang up. Okay? Okay, okay. All right, babes, babes, please don't give my number to anybody in that place, so I don't want them bugging my phone, I beg. Ah, uh, trust me, I won't. Don't worry, count on me, seriously. I know. All right, babes, you take care. Why are you coming back into this house at this ungodly hour? <laughs> the information at my disposal is that every two days you take different men to that hotel. <sighs> Adora, what has come over you? Father, you surprised me. I mean, I'm shocked at the fact that you're not proud of me. I took after you in all things. Gina here took after mother. Come on, besides, I went to the hotel to do exactly what you went there to do. Why are we making an issue out of this? Can you hear this nincompoop? Okay. Sorry, everybody. What did I do wrong? He went to the hotel with a girl far younger than you are. What did he go there to do? To discuss politics? <laughs> Dad, please. Please, I beg you. Don't do this. It is adding salt to injury. I beg you, please. Now you listen, idiot. This city is now wired. Now you better keep this cursed legs crossed and stay in the house. Oh. Or be seen anywhere near that hotel or any other hotel and you will regret the day you were born. If that is a new rule in this house now, Father, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. You too. Hey, you're, you're speaking to me? How do I conjure up the confidence to face anybody who comes through that door? Saying they want to come and marry Adora. I do not want a local champion to come here and ask my hand in marriage. I've told you times with that number. I want to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> she wants to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> you, are, you are in Nigeria here. In this city, 
you have become a nymphomaniac. Now you want me to dip my hands into my pocket and send you to Las Vegas of all places. Now you listen. And you listen good. You are going to cross those legs on your own. Or I will close them the hard way. What have I done now? What's the whole thing I've done now? What have I done? Oh! Why wouldn't they let me peace in this house? I haven't managed to reach Tony since he left this house. What's his crime? Because he came here to see me. Why? We're discussing politics in the room. If he doesn't let me go to Las Vegas, I am going to open my whole leg wide and give it to everybody who wants to eat out of it. Change. What do you mean change? I'll get out of my side. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't rise the bad one. God asked, yours is dry. Why? No movement. And I would like to have a sincere discussion with you, if you oblige me. <laughs> you know I can never deny you anything. Train up a child in the way he has to be. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, I know that saying. So why are you repeating it before me? Dad, men that dedicate too much time to things of the flesh end up wallowing in spiritual pain. Mm. You sound rather weird and uh, abstract. What, what is the matter? Do you need something? There's a way that seems right to a man, but the end leads to destruction. Dad, Adora is right to say she's doing what she's doing because she saw you do same. Your sister is mischievous. Oh, yes. She went to university. What did she come out with? Ordinary pass. <laughs> she has not been able to achieve anything. Nothing at all. And you cannot compare her high level incompetence to my high level success. Dad, that is not what we are talking about. You know what I am talking about. Dad, I am talking of immorality. shock her to her bones by changing then she will have no other choice than to change especially when she sees a new person in you daddy i beg you i beg you please Should I tell you the truth? What? I... I have been suspended from duties. Why? The hotel management found out that I have been sleeping with a guest in his room. And got me fired. I mean, that's the reason I said we should live here. That's nonsense. Look, Max, you can call it whatever you want. But I know that most of my colleagues have been fired, all because of this in the past. Mine is no exception, okay? Listen, hotel managers are known for sleeping with their employees. So what is wrong? If an employee sees a guest, and likes the guest, and decides to sleep with the guest, what is wrong with Max. that? Max! What are you saying in essence? I am saying, those who break the law should not make the law. That's what I'm saying. Hello, Jeff. 
Max, please come home. There is no way I can come home tonight. That's not possible. I'm, I'm very stressed right now. Why? See, Max, there's a situation at hand that only you can handle. Listen, the last time you made this call and I rushed home, I lost on 70 million naira. I'm not willing to do that again. What? 70 million naira? Max, so you have that kind of money? I said I had it. I lost it. That's what I said. And I'm not going to rush home again. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of another deal. And I need to fix it. I'm not going to miss out on this one. Max, please, I beg you. Try and come. Gina, I love you and everything. But I'm not going to come home. I mean, Dad is at home. He's the head of the family, is he? Now let him fix the problems that he created. I'm not coming home. I, I love you, but Gina, I'm sorry. Listen to me, we are not kidnappers. I'm not a kidnapper, okay? I just need your money. And that is why I chose your son. Please. Please help me, please. He's my only son, please help me. Shut up. Now, I will need you to cooperate. I need you to help me so I can help you. No stress, is that clear? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Now you're talking. I need you to arrange 10 million naira in cash. I will call you in two hours and tell you where to deliver the money. We will inspect the money and if it is intact, make sure it's intact, I'll let you have your son. Okay? If it is not, I will kill your boy and I'll come for you. No problem. No problem, but don't be my son, please. Speak to your son. Daddy, please help me. Hey, hey, please. Frank, are you all right? You heard him. He's safe. Now, I don't believe in African time. Two hours is two hours. It's done well. It's done well. Do you know how many years I've been enjoying this impartation? I mean, what nonsense regulation are we talking about? Mr. Dulu, we are talking about the customs regulations. I mean, we, we live in a country where nothing is permanent. Everything keeps changing. The laws are changing. The rules are changing. The regulations are coming and going. I, I, I don't understand anything anymore. I mean, all I know is that um, all your containers, they, they have been seized. <coughs> but Chief, other freight forwarders have been clearing their clients' containers. I mean, what is happening to mine? The same people that went to China as I did, imported the same goods as I did. I mean, what is happening? How could you tell me mine was seized? I, I, I think it would be right of you to go to the wharf and ask the customs. Yes, but we are only clearing agents. And we don't have the power to, <laughs> to release containers or seize containers. Oh yes, you must 
you must go to the customs and ask them why they release some and, 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 and seize some. Do you know what she is? I must speak to the root of this matter. Yes. 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 Um. <laughs> snakes must swallow snakes to grow. Hello, baby. <laughs> you are one lady I don't want to offend. <laughs> you know what happened? Just now, as the phone rang and I looked, I saw favor. And I instantly felt, ah, I am favored today. <laughs> There's enough of your flashes. <laughs> well, Go to uh, you know, so sweets and, and spa. Yes, the manager will be waiting for you. Yes, he will let you into my room. Where are you? Me, I'm on my way. Where else? <laughs> Try to come early. You here, you know, I have to be home for my father returns. Please, hurry up. <laughs> I'll wait. All right, take care. Mm. I want to be sincere to you, sir. Your request came so sudden. I wasn't able to get up to 10 million naira. So how much you have? 7 million, 200,000, sir. Where are you at the moment? I am where you asked me to park, sir. You're trying things stupid. The sun will die. I am here all alone. All alone, sir. Please, I don't want my son to die. It's not negotiable. Put your hands down, I'm not interested. Thank you, sir. Where's the money? In the trunk, in the boot, sir. For what is war? We're sorry for the inconveniences. You understand? Nobody wants to shed blood, but we had to do what we had to do, okay? Sir. I'm gonna go get that money, and I will leave quietly. You try anything stupid, your son will die. It's that simple. Thank you, sir. I told my men to shoot him in 30 minutes if they don't see me. You understand? Thank you. He's talking, my son. Your son is going to be fine. As soon as I get the money, we'll call you and tell you where to pick up your son. You understand? Thank you.
a great favor to me. Come. Look at you. You are a small bundle, but you are mighty in battle. <laughs> hey, look at you. You descended on me as if there was no tomorrow. <laughs> Gee, are you saying you don't like it? Me? No. You are number one. Honestly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> ah, the way you kept me going. Oh, it was incredible. Absolutely. Serious? Absolutely. I want you to be with me forever. Oh, gee. <laughs> gee. We know. I want to leave before my father returns. Mm. So, you, you really want to go? Yes. I suppose I understand. Oh. Yeah. I need it. Oh. <laughs> it's true. You feel the same? Yeah. You do? Yes. Okay, do. Manager. I'm here to do this reservation myself because of how important it is. It's okay, sir. Make sure the rooms are available. Oh, I can assure you, Captain. All the rooms are available. Very much available. I trust you. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. <laughs> Favor. What are you doing here? And who is this man? Uh, uh, who, who, who is he? He's my father. Oh. Ah, well, um, we went in there to have a drink. That is all. You brought a girl of 16 to a hotel for a drink? Are you 16? Officer, she told me she, she's 22. You know what? You are coming with me to the officer's mess because you have a big explanation to make. John! Yes, sir. Move in! Move in! Sir, I'm very sorry, sir. I actually saw the ticket. There was no time. Very sorry, sir. And you? Look how you have to understand that I will not do such a thing for you. How could I possibly? Knowing Girl, I must confess, I am very, very happy for you. It's not an easy thing to buy a house in Jario. But you still haven't told me where you got the money. <laughs> My dear, I am so lucky. You remember Mr. Bright? Mr. Bright now that used to work with Chief Roland. Oh, yes, 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 I remember him. Do you know the guy was really after me while I was still dating Chief? It was just so irritating. I really hated him for it. <laughs> you may have a point in that, but I must tell you, Mr. Bright is a very nice man. Seriously. After the death of Chief Roland, he became an instant millionaire. And guess what? <laughs> Mr. Bright gave me 100 million naira. <laughs> oh, yeah? And that was how I bought the house. 
You mean to tell me you're now dating Mr. Bright? Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. Anyway, he showed me the meaning of true love. So I started dating him. Come on, be a good friend and come and see the house I bought. Oh, I will. When? When do you want now? us to come? Like now, now, now. Yeah, now. Okay, then I'll just um, change it to something more comfortable, okay? have to do is to pray. The military captain is out to make a case and I can tell you here and now that the case against your father is a very serious one. Barrister, that is not true. He did not rape the girl. Nobody is talking about rape here. It has been proved that the girl came to the hotel on her own and she went to your father's hotel room to willingly wait for him. So, why is everyone disgracing my father? She consented to do it, and then this whole thing is being transformed into a case. The case against your father is that he induced the teenage girl with money. And the lady George is very angry. Marissa, what you are trying to say in essence is that my father is going to be jailed. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is why I'm here. To make sure it doesn't happen. This whole thing is madness. Italian leather babes. Disgrace. 
to the custom service. Yes, a disgrace to the nation. I mean, if you don't mind, please leave my office now. Hey, I, I, I can't live like that. I cannot live like that, Chief Do. Huh? Just help me call the customs boss himself, and all this will be over. I've been demoted two ranks, two ranks below. You will not understand. What does that mean to me is equivalent to death. Please, I am begging you. Please. I am even more surprised that after reading through my petitions, what the customs service did was to demote you with a record to the headquarters. I mean, you deserve something more than that. Ah. Yes. You deserved to be court martialed. Yes. And be prosecuted for fraud at the wharf. Chief. Chief. You know, I, I have been committed to this organization. I have been a responsible officer. Chief, do you, please. Just do this for me, please. Please. Mr. Buckner, or whatever they call you, I've told you that I cannot reverse any decision I took on this matter. The decision to demote you was exclusively that of the customs force, and I cannot do anything about it. If you don't mind, please, my door is open. Doctor, what is really wrong with my sister? We must wait for the last lab result. She has got some infections in her kidney and other major organs of her body due to too much drinking and as well smoking. The truth is that her case is a very severe one. for all you've done but is that you have been absolutely wonderful thank you well chief you have paid me enough you have really paid me enough hmm? <laughs> but um chief just do all you can to restore your home and be careful out of trouble. Did I be told that again? I think I've learned my lesson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Barista, I have decided to pay back every single cover that I have earned illegally. All the people I stole from, all the people I cheated, I want to pay them back. And I would very much appreciate it if you handle this. We deal with them administratively. I I pray that God will forgive me. It's not it's a it's a it's a burden that I suddenly realize. And I cannot I cannot well, Chief, I want to say a very big sorry for all the troubles that you have had recently. From Buckner, the military captain, and all these problems that has... It's been very difficult for you. Thank you. Well, I hope myself. Well, 
that from now on I will try and be as sincere and honest as I can. feeling? I don't know. I feel weird. Right, you'll be alright, my dear. You'll be alright. I have spoken to the doctor and he has told me everything. It's a kidney infection that, uh, if not properly handled, can cause the entire system to shut down. But you're alright. We've caught it early enough. And I have arranged that as soon as uh, possible, to fly out to England for proper medical care. Thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you. Thank you for what? You knew it all. If only you had listened. Who told you that I am an angel? Who told you that I am an angel? young child yes Shoot him in 
30 minutes and then I'll see you. You understand? Thank you. Lots of things. And I did lots of things I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. There was just no one here to counsel me or, or show me the right way. Forgive me. I'm sorry. You know, my dear, there's nothing for you to be sorry about. It was not your fault. needed help. You were in pain. I failed you because I was not there for you. I was too busy nursing my own pain and not seeing yours. You have to forgive me. You know, I love you so much. TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sweet, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Our forever dubbing services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo. 
Wolof, Sulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.